Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Weekend Fun Series. I am Vivek Kumar from Suda Analytics and today we will discuss about bringing Gemini by Google to Tipco Spotfire. So if you visit the Google site for same, you will find a lot of exciting details about it and also we have seen a lot of things in Excel. So it is a first version of Gemini which is most capable AI model and uh, it is way faster when i was just exploring a little bit about uh, different aspects of how to implement it using uh, python i got a great article which is basically from bimo this particular website and uh, i was looking through it and it was damn simple basically easy to follow steps for implementing gemini pro in any kind of python code so I was looking at how to get started with, but what we need at all for using it in Spotfire is this package name. We have simply copy this thing, go to Spotfire and install a package for same. And that's all for platform readiness perspective. One more thing we will be needing here will be getting the Gemini Pro API key. So basically we need to go to this particular URL and sign in with our Google account. We have to create an API key, copy it, and we are done. Without taking much time and talking much about other stuffs, let's jump to, jump to see it in action. I am going to demonstrate a very simple implementation of Gemini Pro in a post -port file. Let's ask a query to Gemini. What is Spotfire data function and let's trigger it. So basically right now we are taking a simple parameter which is input text, passing it to Gemini and getting the response as a single variable. So within a fraction of seconds we get the proper response from Gemini and it is very fast means we have not to wait a lot and even executing this code doesn't take much of resources from your local because basically it is simply passing it to google waiting for response and then delivering it back to spot file as a text let's have a look at its code and its implementation basically it is very simple there is no strings attached go to data function properties open it up and it is just this much just less than 10 lines of code okay so basically i have taken the example from the same site i was showing recently it is taking a parameter gemini key which so is i'm taking gemini key as input parameter which is basically defined from a document property and uh, the query is another parameter which is which can be basically means right now i have taken it uh, as simple as uh, a single user input which but in other implementation it can be a marking or an expression anything which will be passing the query to be asked and we have to simply take the gemini response as a string from the response text and that's all we have it is very simple and yet very effective if i talk about use cases of this one I know means very recently Tipco have released that uh, Spotfire have a co-pilot in version 14 or so and they are literally awesome. At present there are a lot of people who are using other LTS versions of Tipco Spotfire. So they are yet to upgrade to higher versions of Spotfire but yeah means we cannot simply wait till it arrives. So it is a basic implementation which can be part of any Spotify dashboard. We can provide that particular functionality to our users to ask their questions. And also we can provide certain functionalities which are out of the box. And it is very simple. It is having just 10 lines of code, no complex stuff over there. Or we can simply dock it in one side of the, uh, of the dashboard and let end users use it when they need it or 
it can be an act it can act as a analysis panel for the active visualization to give information about the marked data so that's all for today see you in next video thank you